Hi, Scott Machine Gun Dad. Welcome back to my channel. Um, I, if you follow me at all, you I've been doing these, this continuing series of I have this gun on the wall, and I did one on the Sig 556R. Got a fair amount of views. Um, so as I'm doing this series, I'm getting behind and cleaning. So I'm downstairs and I'm thinking about should I clean this or clean this. So I ended up cleaning like say five pistols. And I was looking at the 556R, and I have other 556s in the rack, and I'm like, you know, if they just had a bolt hold open device, and I'm like, I wonder if the standard 556 lower would fit on it. So I took it apart, which is literally taking two, uh, the screw and the push pin, and lo and behold, look what happens. I have a 556R, and I'll show it to you so you don't think I'm BSing you, right here. So this is the 556R that I had in the video before. Okay, same Vortex scope. What I did was I have a spare 556 lower from my um, Gen 1 gun that I was able to put a Gen 3 lower on. It went right on. Um, now the 556 the Gen 1s use a screw in the front, but the screw's the same diameter, it works perfect. So I put it on and I'm like, well, I should test it out, see if it works. Why would I bother? Because of this. Gun's empty, you can see it's empty. This 10 round magazine, just for YouTube. 10 round magazine. Watch this. Locks open on the last shot. 556Rs aren't supposed to do that. Well, this one does now. So, I took it out. Now, this is a Duramag 10 rounder. This is a Duramag 20 rounder. And this is an, I think it's an ASC, right? 28 rounder. Um, and yes, YouTube, you can look it up. It's a 28 rounder. The Duramag, I'm sorry, the ASC in this gun, I tried it, I filmed it with like five rounds. And that's what you'll see. And then after that, I tried to film it with more bullets and I was having problems because I don't know I have the same problems in my uh, 762 by 39 M16 some of these mags work and some of them don't and I can't see a difference between them I uh, no, I have one that's got a bent feed lip but they'll they seem to work reliably if you only load 20 rounds in them if you go more than say you want to get up to 25 they the first couple rounds just don't want to feed they seem to nose down they go a little low so, what you'll see is this mag, 28 round mag, YouTube, and this gun with five rounds and it locks the thing open. And um, after I shoot it, I'll explain to you the benefits of having this. But to me, the big benefit of this, if you watch the 556R video I did, after the last round, it doesn't, it, you know, you hear, a, you hear an audible click because, um, it doesn't lock open on the last shot. Now with this configuration, it does lock open. Now I do mention this when I'm out on the range because I've already filmed the shooting part. What is the advantage of doing this? Why would I why would I do this? Well, first of all, if you have an AR-15 that's chambered in 762 by 39, which I have two, and an M16 chambered in 762 by 39, you're gonna end up using these mags. Okay. So if you're at the range, you can carry these mags. The second thing is the 556 R, so the first generation, is a doesn't have a steel insert to protect the lower. AK mags, unless you use polymer mags, will probably wear the gun. Now I use polymer mags, um, so it's not that big of a deal, but just the fact that I only have to carry one case of mags to the range would probably make it in a, 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 enough of a motivation for me to run this lower on it. The, the advantage to the AK lower is if you got an AK, now you'll have a super a very accurate AK that runs AK mags and AK mags are everywhere and Magpul now makes a quality AK mag and polymer so all I'm really showing you is a way to make this rifle more flexible um, more American let's go to the range and I'll shoot five rounds through it hey I'm out on the range with my 556R with the uh, standard 556 AR lower on it as you can see from the buttstock, it's a Gen 1 lower. I have the some old 28 round 762 by 39 magazines. 
see if it works. So far so good. I only have five rounds in this magazine. And this is what I was talking about. Locks open on the last shot, unlike the standard 556R lower. Now, do I recommend you do this? If you can find one, why not? Um, there are two advantages to this. First of all, if you have an AR-15 chambered in, in this caliber, you're going to be using these magazines. Um, so you have magazine interchangeability. Second, last round bolt open, which is a nice thing, especially when you're used to shooting American guns. Downside. AK mags are everywhere and they're cheap. Downside about AK mags, at least on the Gen 1 556R, which is this one is, you should use polymer mags, not steel. All I'm showing you is a way to make the 556R a little more flexible. It's something I just thought of literally yesterday. Hopefully you enjoyed the content, you like coming to see me, and like and subscribe, and I hope you come back. Thanks again.